Hi everybody, I'm Gigi of Gigi at Celebrities, and today I am not cooking a video. Oh wait, no. I meant to say I'm not making a cooking video. <laughs> Anyways, the reason why I'm not making a cooking video is because people have asked me to give them a pregnancy update. So that's what I'm doing today. And I'm also gonna detail how I stay fit during pregnancy because that's another common question I get asked. So I thought I might as well make a video about it. First of all, I feel like I've been pregnant for the last 18,000 years. But I'm actually due, ha ha ha, on Christmas day of this year, so not too much longer. That being said, ever since week 13, I actually really haven't felt that bad. Just felt like my normal self, did my normal thing, and started eating raw sushi again, cause yum. However, about a week and a half ago, everything changed for the worst. When I say the worst, I mean horrible back pain. Everything else, I feel totally fine still, but I all of a sudden got excruciating back pain to the point that I was crying all day for like, three days, I couldn't stand up, I couldn't sit down, I couldn't lay down, I couldn't take a shower, I couldn't bend over, couldn't brush my teeth, couldn't throw out the trash, literally couldn't do anything. However, I'm the type of person that is always on the go and always wants to do things. So the fact that I just like could not do anything, even though I definitely forced myself and it was very hard to get in and out of that damn car, let me just tell ya, it has been awful. The only thing that's been saving me right now is my husband got me a back brace and it's been keeping my posture nice and supported. And then I went on to Amazon and I actually purchased another one specifically for pregnancy. However, the one that he got me is actually better. So I am not the type of person that complains about pain. However, this pain was so intense and still is so intense then I actually went to the hospital for it. My doctor recommended that I go to the hospital and make sure that I wasn't in back labor, which at that point I had no idea what it meant. And really back labor doesn't really mean like you're going into labor, but they wanted to make 110% sure that I wasn't about to go into labor because that would have definitely been preterm labor considering I'm only just now 34 weeks. When I went there, they did all of the tests. They got all up in there and all invasive. <laughs> <laughs> and my husband was making all the jokes cause that's what he does in awkward situations. And they realized that I have Braxton Hicks contractions all the damn time, which I never actually knew what Braxton Hicks contractions were until they showed me. And apparently I've been having them since like 20 weeks pregnant, which I guess is kind of weird. I guess they might start around week 25, 26, 27, whatever, but they don't cause any harm to your baby. It's just a very weird feeling that I literally do not know how to describe to you. Your stomach just gets super hard and Usually it'll just get pushed up and just really doesn't feel good. It's like an extra pair of tits right here, except a lot harder than the real ones. <laughs> But what I also learned during my hospital visit was that I was actually having real contractions, but I didn't feel any pain from them whatsoever. The only pain that I was feeling was my back pain, which you can actually kind of see my back brace right here. I was too lazy to put it under my shirt because when you go pee, you have to take it off. And I'm like, fuck it, you know, I'm pregnant. I have to pee every five seconds. So this is just gonna go right on there. <laughs> Anyways, I was having contractions. They were about maybe three in a 20 minute period. And they gave me this really weird shot that made my heart race and made me feel really, really shaky. Like if you drink way too much caffeine and you're like, Ugh. that was apparently supposed to relax everything in my body to make sure that the contractions would go away. And they did subside a little bit, but then my OBGYN actually recommended that they do another shot to calm my uterus and everything down again. And I was like, nope, not gonna opt for that one because I fucking hate that feeling. So I opted against it and I did actually go home and honestly, they can't recommend me anything because I know exactly what this pain is. This pain is sciatic pain. You see, what I believe is happening at this moment in time is my little kid decided to flip around and sit on my sciatic nerve. And he decided that that place is just the most comfortable place in my damn body, so he ain't moving. No, he is not moving. In fact, I actually thought the pain was starting to get a little bit better, but oh, it's getting worse again. So he clearly is like moving his way back over there to make sure that he can make me as uncomfortable comfortable as possible. For as long as this pain lasts, 
our little kid is grounded for that amount of time. But you know what? It is what it is. And there are way worse things that can happen to you during pregnancy. So I still feel pretty lucky despite the fact that it really sucks to put pants on. I'm shocked I'm wearing pants right now. I wish I had a video of how I put them on this morning, but that would have taken about 30 minutes of your time because I was literally sitting on this floor right here, pulling up my pants, laying on the floor like, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a very interesting sight. You probably would have laughed. So yeah, that's pretty much the update in regards to pregnancy, but now I wanna jump into how I stay fit during pregnancy and how I stay fit during pregnancy despite my back issues at this point. Because a lot of people who experience this type of pain are put on bed rest or they're told to at least sit down as much as humanly possible. However, for me, the opposite is what I do because sitting actually does not feel as good as standing. Okay, so as you guys know, I don't eat wheat, dairy, gluten, sugar, soy, fruits, and nuts. So that eliminates a lot of unhealthy foods from my diet. So I right off the bat had it pretty easy in regards to staying fit during pregnancy because I wasn't eating cookies, cakes, candies, and all that kind of stuff. Also, my appetite hasn't changed at all. So I still crave salmon, I still crave grass-fed and grass-finished beef, I still crave roasted Brussels sprouts and asparagus and spinach and blah, 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 blah. Oh, and sweet potatoes too, definitely the sweet potatoes. I feel very lucky in that regard. But even if I did crave something sweet, I have my erythritol or AKA swerve in my life that literally I'll like take a spoonful and be like, mmm, yum or I have Lily's dark chocolate that's sugar-free, or Coco Polo. There's a whole bunch of food products out there that are sugar-free and dairy-free and actually very healthy for you that you could definitely turn to if you had the craving for them. Luckily, as I said, I didn't have any changes in my appetite and I'm actually a salt tooth kind of person as opposed to a sweet tooth, so there's that too. So basically my pregnancy diet has consisted of salmon, sweet potatoes, spinach, butter, lettuce, ground grass-fed and finished beef, Brussels sprouts, and the occasional treat here and there, like a keto-approved donut that I posted last week. Mm-hmm, those are delicious, just saying. You might wanna go check them out. Another thing I wanna mention about my diet, which a lot of people might look at as weird or not healthy for the baby or whatever, is that I'm still only eating two meals a day. I have been doing intermittent fasting for the past 17 years of my life. I'm just not hungry when I wake up in the morning, so I just don't eat breakfast. Usually my first meal of the day is around 11 or 12, but I kid you not, I eat all of the calories I should eat in a day within the two meals that I eat in a day. So I'm not concerned. However, you know, some people might find this very weird and they might be like, oh my God, you're so unhealthy and the baby's not healthy, blah, blah, blah. But guess what? The baby is healthy. Now, another thing I have to actually mention is during this entire pregnancy, I have only gained four pounds. Four pounds. And I have a theory as to why this is. My theory behind why I have only gained four pounds is because when I first became pregnant, I was really muscular. And I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous to lift weights when I actually found out I was pregnant because I was very high risk and I didn't wanna complicate anything like that, so I just kinda stopped lifting weights. I've continued to do cardio because I'm a cardio freak and I still continue to do cardio despite my back pain because it actually sort of helps my back pain, which is awesome. So I was really, really muscular when I first became pregnant and I think what happened is I actually lost the muscle mass that I had. As for why I've only gained four pounds at this point, yeah, I have no idea, but at the same time, I'm not complaining about it. No one's concerned about it. My doctor literally hasn't even talked about my weight gain. My mom sometimes is like, you need to eat more. And I'm like, ooh, any invitation to eat more sounds like a plan, but I'm just not hungry. Honestly, I feel like I'm eating less while being pregnant versus when I wasn't pregnant because everything gets pushed up and my stomach just has gotten like smaller. So I get fuller faster, which again, crazy for me to say, because. I eat for a family of 12, and now I'm currently only eating for a family of eight. Now, I wanna back up a little bit and tell you about my cardio regime. I have been doing cardio for the past 17 years of my life, just about as long as I've been doing intermittent fasting. I'm obsessed, it's the first thing I do in the morning when I wake up, it's like my cup of coffee, it's awesome. But I actually am on the elliptical trainer, that's my cardio machine of choice, 
for an hour and a half. Now, everyone might think that that is fucking crazy, and sometimes I think so too. However, I hit two birds with one stone when I'm on that elliptical, which I pointed over there because my elliptical is literally right there. I'm actually doing all of my social media and all my blogging and everything like that when I'm on the elliptical, thanks to my trusty iPhone here. Seriously, this baby right here keeps me super distracted when I'm working out, so the hour and a half just totally flies by. And I put it on a high resistance and I just go for it. That's just what I do every day. And it's just something that's been ingrained in my brain and makes me feel so much better. And I know when I don't work out, which is extremely rare. In fact, I did not work out for seven days in a row when I was in Africa. I don't feel as good as I do when I am on the elliptical because it gives me so much energy. So that's another answer to one of the questions I get asked super often is, where do you get all your energy? Well, number one, I truly believe it's from my diet. Number two, it's totally from my exercise because I always feel like a million dollars after I'm done exercising. Just have to throw that out there. So I haven't changed that in terms of me pre-pregnancy versus me pregnant. And even with this back pain, <laughs> The day after I really started to feel all the pain, I was on the elliptical. I definitely was on a resistance of one, but it just, it felt so much better to get my joints moving versus laying down because the transition from me sitting to getting up was literally the worst thing ever. And sitting just made my back feel 20 times worse. Right now with the back brace, me sitting here in this chair, I just feel this dull ache right here. And that's a constant thing. So regardless of me standing or sitting, that's just happening. And I'm just, again, really trying to power through because there's really nothing else I can do. Sure, I can try and get on the floor, which is very hard to do at this moment in time, and do as many stretches as humanly possible, and I can sleep with a pillow in between my legs and blah, 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 so on and so forth, but nothing is really gonna help. I remember I asked my sister, I was like, did you experience back pain when you were pregnant? And she was like, yeah, it was really bad. And you wanna know my doctor's advice? He told me to give birth. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to deal with this until Christmas because I don't wanna give birth right now. And in fact, I would like for my son to actually come a little late because I am so not ready. <laughs> so not ready. So yeah. That is my pregnancy update and how I stay fit during pregnancy. Now, if you guys have any questions, do leave them in the comments below and I will happily answer any and all of them. Otherwise, thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Do subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video if you did in fact like it. And if you want me to do another pregnancy update, well, just let me know and I can certainly do so. Bye. This is the back brace I bought myself on Amazon. It it's weird. I have to lean on this chair in order for my face to be in this video because otherwise it just, I, yeah, my back will give out. But this, this is the other back brace that Landon got me. It has a lot more back support in it. So I actually wear this one when I'm on the elliptical. Now I don't wear it during the day because I feel like my sweat from working out is like on it, but it actually doesn't smell bad. So I feel like I could totally wear it. <laughs> yeah, I'm cleanly as fuck. Anyways, this is the other one. He got it for me at Ralph's, everybody, AKA your local Kroger. So if you guys are experiencing back pain for any certain reason, I highly recommend this baby. It's called a Futuro. Futuro. This right here is a 34 week bump for me. Everybody has a different bump. So what's mine is not yours.